guys, welcome back to my channel. I did not expect to do this video today, but after scrolling through Facebook and Instagram and seeing a lot of posts about it, figured I have at least one Panther home. So, might as well go ahead and shoot this video today, April 6th, for 6th day. Uh, as you guys probably would see if you go on Facebook right now, I'll try to upload this video in a couple of minutes. Uh, right now is... Right now it's 7.30, 7.29 Eastern Time, I'm in, you guys already know I'm in Ontario, Canada. So, since I have one Panther home, let's go ahead and shoot a video about the 4.6, and what better car to do it on than my favorite Panther, favorite year and model for the Panther, well, so, sort of, you guys don't know about this car completely yet, but favorite year for a Panther, which is a 2004. Uh, Mercury Grand Marquis, yep, I know, the back is converted to the Crown Vic. You guys haven't seen this process yet, I filmed it, I'm editing the video, I was doing it actually this morning. So, we're going to talk about the 4.6, since it's 4.6 day. Now this won't be a full video on the 4.6, because as you guys know, there is a whole bunch of good information to cover on the 4.6, but figured might as well talk to you guys a little bit about our favorite small little 281 V8. See, of course, I have the one that's not the clean car uh, with all the nice painted motor and um, clean, well taken care of. Like, I clean the Crown Vic's motor almost once a month. Um, since I got it, so this one I haven't touched yet. Barely anyone actually cleans their motors anyways. And plus up here, this is pretty much how it'll look after driving it through winter anyway, so. But, here it is. The iconic 4.6 liter, two valve, V8 that's com almost completely bulletproof. Where you really only ever need to do is the intake manifold and the timing chain, well the timing chain guides. And you have a pretty much bulletproof Panther, or pretty much bulletproof motor, I should say. So, as you can see, it's really cool. So, what I might just do is I might just give you guys a little bit of a cold start and just sort of end the video just because of the wind. Like I said, I'll do a proper video about all this at a later time when I actually have the time to do all the research, have everything in front of me, kind of tell you everything you guys would like to know about it. But, stay tuned for that cold start. Let's just talk for a minute or so about some updates. So, basically, what we're going to be doing, or what I have done, so I have cleaned the interior of this car. Um... This car actually does have a power passenger seat, which is pretty rare, which I always, um, like, I can never find door panels for it. <laughs> I've been looking for power uh, passenger door panels. The only cars I really see that actually come with them are the LSE models, which, as you guys know, have, like, uh, a bunch of different upgrades with sway bars, the uh, suspension, a few different, like, unique features of it, kind of like the LX Sport. It's just basically... The sportier version, trying to get young people to buy these cars. Did it really work? Who knows? <laughs> I know a lot of people now, though, 16-year-olds, 17-year-olds, 18-year-olds, do actually like buying it, but I don't think that was honestly the case in the mid to late 2000s. But, uh, let's see, what else are we doing? So, updates on uh, this car. So, I have, oh, it's over here, hang on. Here, one sec. So I started piecing together some of the audio system. So I have a Kenwood amp here with me. So this will be probably for my door speakers. So if you guys don't know, I'm going to be converting the door speakers on this car to six and a half and putting a separate four inch tweeter in the dashboard, just like I did with the Crown Vic. That actually gives it very, very, very good sound output. I really enjoy how it sounds and how my music is nice and clear. This, if you guys don't know, it's an old school Kenwood amp. 
I believe it's from 1998 or 1999. It's possible it could be 2001 as well. There's a couple I was looking at, like, so I don't remember the exact years. I believe this one would either be uh, 98 or 2001. If you guys want to go ahead and check it out. It is a very good amp for sound quality. It, I did hook it up with the uh, door speakers and tweeters I'll be putting in this car. Um, well, at least just a couple six and a half mid-range speakers and tweeters, and it did sound very, very good. So that is great, and it'll look. I look forward to doing that. I'll do a proper video. I have a video for the Crown Vic how to do it the cheapest, easiest, quickest way. But in this car, I'm doing things more proper since this is one of my favorite Panther cars, and I want to do things the right way with this one. So I'm going to be doing proper brackets, making proper mounts for it. I'll show you guys how to do all of that. Get rid of the stock uh, stereo because these, as you guys know, don't play good at all. Very, very, very quiet. The speakers itself, though, a lot of guys hate on them, but as long as you don't blast your music and you actually know how to use an equalizer function on either your phone or the stereo, they're not that bad. I know people that upgrade just the front and actually keep the rear stock. Or even some people get away. Like, I had just a aftermarket head unit. A decent, like, fairly decent head unit and stock speakers. And I'd be blasting my music quite a bit. I had a sub and everything, but it's not terrible. Like, it's, it's very, very manageable for what they are. Ford has one of the best stock speakers, in my opinion. Um... They were way, way better than what was in the Impala. I know that for sure. So, anyways, like I told you guys, like I promised, I'll be doing a little cold start for you. So, let me just uh, prop up the camera. It's windy, so I don't know how well it's going to come out, but give it a shot anyways. All right. I don't know how shitty that'll be with the wind, but there we have it. It's just a muffler to leave with the sock resonator, so you can see. Sock resonator's still on there. Um, it does have a H-pipe off of the P71, so it is two and a half inch exhaust. Um, all the cats are on it, not like the Crown Vic. You can see the tail lights or whatever. Have a look. I'll eventually just get around to tinting all of this when it warms up. And then I have to finish polishing the rear fascia. If you didn't know, this was painted for uh, when my friend had it. When Vince had it, he had to paint it to his car and then I painted black over it to put on the Crown Vic. But when I ended up stripping it off, what ended up happening was the paint stripper ate away a little bit too much of the base. I started polishing it out, but obviously I didn't have the time to get it completely done. I just wanted to get everything back together. I still didn't even get a chance to finish the lock because uh, for the Grand Marquis I had to punch out the lock and the lock cylinder for this car. I can actually just show you. So the lock cylinder for this car, it's done. It's like completely corroded. It's garbage. I have to get a new one. I'm just going to get a P71 one because I keep the keys for the Vic and this car on the same keychain, like one of each anyway. So I'll just use the Crown Vic one for that. But that's where I'll end off the video for you guys. So for any Panther owner, any Crown Vic, uh, really anyone who has any Ford V8s that are not the 5.4 from 92 to 2011 when they got rid of these, Happy 460. I never <laughs> knew this was a thing. Like I said, I literally just came out to film this because I just saw a bunch of posts. I had no idea it was anything. So, 
to all the Panther owners out there in the groups, when you watch this, make sure to like, uh, comment, subscribe. Make sure you keep like uh, click the notification bell to keep up to date on this build. It's an ongoing process. This is how it is right now. So if you guys haven't seen any pictures of it recently, this is where she sits. Did the tint strip on the window. One spot there above the mirror started to lift. But that's what she looks like. Alright, so catch you guys in the next video. Hopefully I can get out the uh, Marauder kind of inspired fascia thing and everything I was doing out as soon as possible. You guys enjoy the rest of your day.